Hey guys, it's Darek here. As promised, today we're going to start with the first workout of my new workout program. So I'm going to uh, firstly start with the skills and just after that I'm going to do the basic exercises. Today we're going to talk about my goals and basically about the exercises I'm going to perform. Let's go! All right, guys, so I'm going to do the warm up now and just after that doing pretty similar workout to the one that you saw last time on my YouTube. So I'm going to start with the planche. Here I'll be doing some uh, holds, then front lever and handstand fun. After that, I move to the basic exercises. I'm going to discuss a bit uh, more about the program just after we hit the uh, skills block. Alright guys, I'm just after the skills block and uh, what can I say about that? I was working on planche and front lever, firstly, uh, the holds were not too long as you could see. Uh, well, it just requires a time, I'm going to now um, do this workout program for 4 weeks, so I believe that I'll get some nice progress on that. Um, and after that I was doing the handstands, right now I'm going uh, to work on improving the endurance on the handstand push-ups, 90 degree handstand push-ups and so on. Right now going to move to the weighted pull-ups and weighted dips in the superset and just after that I will talk about the goals of this program. So the workout you're going to see today is one out of three. So if you'd like to see the, another two workouts, let me know in the comments. I could record a vlog with different exercises. Um, the program is composed with the full body workout routines, but I'm always starting each workout with the skills practice, front lever, planche, as I mentioned before, and handstand game. So this takes me like one hour of practice and then I move to the basic exercises. So the first week I'm not pushing heavy, the RP scale is seven, then it increased until nine. So I got four weeks to finish my program and I'll be letting you know about the progress when I finish all four weeks. First two exercises, the weighted pull-ups and weighted dips, I'm doing in a super set. And what I always do before it is like four warm-up reps. So I start body weight and just after that I gradually increase the weight. You should never go for like your uh, ultimate goal in a set without any warm-up. So I'm starting with like uh, plus 12 kg, then 16 kg, 20 kg, and then I'm going to like 24 kg for four reps. Alright guys, so in my program the first week should be RP7 and I already felt that in third set it was around 
RP8, so it means like only two reps in a tank. And uh, my program is composed in, let's say, clever way, so there is no need to push myself so heavy in the first weeks. It's going to be in the following ones. So because of that, I decided to drop weight by four kilograms in both exercises, so then I can get a long-term progress. Let's go for the set number four. A common mistake that people do while programming is that they push themselves to the limits in all sets. Um, when creating workout program, you should take into consideration that uh, going to the maximum compared to having like one repetition or two in a tank is not going to be beneficial. You can already find some studies that are proving that going to the limits is not better than having one or two reps in a tank. And what's worse, in a long-term perspective, like if you push yourself to the limits for a few weeks, you're going to definitely burn out and it's going to give you a worse progress than uh, going in a smarter way. So as you can see right now, I'm doing the L-Hang two front lever presses. And in this exercise, you should mainly focus on engaging your lats in a proper way. So to pull yourself behind the bar and at the same time to lock out your elbows in all repetitions. As you can see in the walking lunges, I focus on the barbell variation and it has its reason. I simply don't want to perform it with the kettles or dumbbells because I don't want to like overload my program with the forearms work. So whenever I can avoid that, I'm going to do it on the barbell. So then uh, my forearms are better regenerated for the planche workout. That is the ultimate goal here. All right guys, just finished the lunges. The volume here is definitely enough. I haven't been doing much of the work for my legs, especially on the weights last time due to the quarantine. So right now I'm moving to the last exercise that will be tuck planche on my fingers. I just want to prepare them uh, for the heavy load because last time when I was doing the straddle planche on the fingers, I felt it a little bit not comfortable. So right now I think it's good to take some steps backwards to then progress even better. So let's move to the four sets of the holds. Alright guys, so we finished today's workout and as you can see I'm back to this kind of old workout style, so doing the skills and then the basics. The workouts are a bit longer, but I have three or four workouts in a week, so it's quite good and uh, I hope I'll be able to progress in a good way. You can track my progress following me on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe. You can also check my Instagram. And guys, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in next video. Peace.